Hi, my name is Dr. Bruce Moore. I'm an optometrist at the New England College of Optometry, and my specialty is in pediatric eye care. I've been fortunate to have worked in the Boston community for over 35 years delivering eye care to children. I began my career spending about 25 years at the Boston Children's Hospital, and the last 10 years at the New England College of Optometry and Boston Medical Center. And my interest has really been primarily with providing vision care to preschool and early school age children. The problems that children that age have as far as their vision is concerned are somewhat different, in many ways very different, than the kinds of vision problems that affect adults. For example, when people think about vision problems in adults, the really important problems are things like cataracts and glaucoma and problems from diabetes and other diseases that can affect the back of the eye and the retina. Those conditions are very different than the ones that affect children. For children, the important vision problems are related to a condition which eye doctors call amblyopia and lay people call a lazy eye. And a lazy eye simply means that one, usually one, but occasionally two, the child's eyes have very poor vision as a result of some problem. That problem is not a disease of itself but it's usually caused by either a child that has a crossed eye, one eye that's straight, one eye turned in or turned out towards the ear. And very commonly, it's related to a need for glasses, what we call significant refractive error. Now, people don't normally think about children having problems like that. And in part, the problem is, when you look at a child that has amblyopia or lazy eye, usually they don't look any different than any other child. There's nothing you can see. There's not a big white spot on the eye. There's not an eye that's dripping pus or anything like that. They look perfectly normal. A child that age simply doesn't know they have a problem. They can't tell the parent or a teacher or even a doctor that they're having trouble seeing with one eye. They don't know. They just think that's the normal way things are. So it's really important that we do a vision screening on all children somewhere between three and five years of age, sometimes earlier than that. And what we're going to be talking about today are some of the conditions that affect children's vision, some of the things that we can do to identify those problems at an early age, some of the ways that we can treat those problems and prevent permanent vision problems and vision loss for those children. And we'll also talk about how a child's vision problems may have some important effect upon a child's ability to learn and to ultimately do well in school. So that's what we'll spend some more time talking about.